Hello, I'm Tony Mesa with Tony Mesa Real Estate School. Um, and what I'm going to be showing you, I'm trying to get here centered in the camera. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to do what's called the sales comparison approach or comparable sales approach of appraising. It is one of the three main methods of appraising um, that is covered in the course and they expect you to have an understanding of for the state exam. Now, what happens here is when we're using this approach, this is a very good approach when you have similar properties that have sold recently in the same uh, geographic area. It's called the sales comparison approach or comparable sales approach because you are using comparable sales to get an estimate of value for the subject property. The subject property is the property that's being appraised. So if you look up here on the board, I tell you the subject is a four bedroom, three bathroom with a pool. The subject is always the one that you're appraising, the one you're trying to get an estimate of value for. So the whole point of doing this is we want to figure out what is the estimate of value of this property right here, the subject property. Comparable number one, comparable number two, and comparable number three. The idea is that you're using these comparable sales, and again, they have to be fairly recent sales because market value changes over time. They have to be substantially similar to the subject. If the subject's a two bedroom, you can't use a 10 bedroom as a comp, it's too different. So there can be some differences, but you're trying, the appraiser's trying to find properties that are substantially similar to the subject. And then also the same geographic area because values vary area to area, right? So here, what I tell you is comparable number one is a three bedroom, two, three bathroom, no pool. Uh, sold for 190000 That's the sales price. Now, understand something. What I've done is I've already put it into a grid, an adjustment grid, right? And when you get the problem on the state exam, they're going to just tell you all this stuff, you know, in a paragraph. And then you have to take your scratch paper, which they give you on the state exam, and you have to create in a grid. A grid. You're going to have the subject, and then next to it, comp number one, comp number two, comp number three. And the idea is you're going to um, uh, make the adjustments to each comparable property, but you want to have them like this so you can compare the comp to comp number one to the subject, comp number two to the subject, comp number three to the subject. Okay, now the memory aid for making these adjustments, CBS like the TV station, CIA like the government agency. CBS means if the comp is better, we subtract from the comp. CIA means if the comp is inferior, we add to the comp. So what we're doing is we're taking each comparable sale and we are comparing it to the subject. And if the comparable is better, what do we do? Uh, we subtract from the comparable. If the comparable is inferior, what do we do? We add to the comparable. We're never adding or subtracting from the subject. If you look over here, there is no number to add or subtract from. So you're making adjustments to each of the comparables. Um, I have told you in this problem, each bedroom is worth 10,000, each bathroom is worth 5,000, and a pool is worth 15,000. Now look, the numbers don't have to make sense. Uh, I could tell you that a pool is not going to cost you in Florida $15,000 to build. It's, you know, and adding a bathroom, uh, the value added by a bathroom is going to be more than $5,000. Um, but what happens is you just use the numbers that they give you, even if they're numbers which are a little bit wacky. You have to do the problem based on the numbers given. All right, so let's take a look at comparable number one. The subject is four bedrooms, the comparable is three bedrooms. The comparable has one bedroom less. That means the comparable is inferior, CIA. If the comparable is inferior, what do we do? We add. And for a bedroom, we are adding $10,000, right? Then the subject is three bathrooms, the comparable is three bathrooms, this, they're the same, no adjustment. Subject has a pool, comparable has no pool. Comparable has no pool, the comparable is inferior. When the comparable is inferior, what do we do? We add to the comparable, CIA, comparable, inferior, add. So plus $15,000. So there, when we take 190,000 plus 10,000 plus 15,000, we got 215,000. That is what is called the adjusted sales price of comparable sale number one. So this is the value of comparable sale number one taking into account um, the adjustments that have been made, right? So picking up my calculator there. Um, so then what is next? We have um, comparable number two. 
Subject is four bedrooms, comparable is four bedrooms, the same, no adjustment. Subject is three bathrooms, comparable is four bathrooms. The comparable has one bathroom more, the comparable is better. CBS, comparable better, subtract. How much do we subtract for a bathroom? Minus 5,000, because that's what was given to us in the problem. And then pool, pool, the same, no adjustment. So we have 200,000 minus 5,000, 195,000 is the adjusted sales price of comparable sale number two. Then we go to comparable number three and we have to compare it to the subject. Four bedroom subject, five bedroom comp. The comp has one bedroom more. That means the comp is better. Comparable better, subtract. How much do we subtract for a bedroom? Minus 10,000, right? Three bathroom subject, two bathroom comp. The comparable has one bathroom less. The comparable is inferior. When the comparable is inferior, we add. And in this case, 5,000. Um, and then pool, subject, pool, comp, the same, no adjustment. So 110,000 minus 10,000 plus 5,000 gives us 205,000 as the adjusted sales price of comparable sale number three. And then in this, in this question that I'm making up and putting on the board here, if you get it like this on the state exam, they have not given you any type of weights for comparables. That is something that we will discuss later. So this is all the information they've given you. Then what you would do is you would take and you would add together the three adjusted sales prices. So 215,000 plus 195,000 plus 205,000, that gives us a total of 615,000, right? That 615,000, I'm gonna write the rest of it over here so you can see it. That 615,000, what happens is, since you have three properties, you're gonna then divide by three, and when you take 615,000, you divide by three, that gives you the estimate of value, which is $205,000. So what is it that's happening? When we use this sales comparison approach or comparable sales approach to estimating value, um, what we are doing is we're using past sales that are substantially similar to the subject um, that is sold fairly recently in the same geographic area, um, to get an estimate of value for the subject property, right? And you need to have two things in mind when you go to take the state exam. They will give you weird, funky numbers. They will tell you that, you know, a pool is worth $30,000 and a bedroom is worth $3,000. I know it doesn't make sense, you know, but use whatever numbers they give you. And then CBS, CIA, it's a good memory aid. If the comp is better, subtract from the comp. CIA, if the comp is inferior, add to the comp. Conceptually, what's happening? If the comp is inferior, for example, comp number one has one bedroom less than the subject, you are adding to the comp to bring it up to the level of the subject. Uh, on the other hand, if the, if the comp is better, right? This one has a bedroom more. What do we do? We subtract 10,000. We're bringing the comp down to the level of the subject. But it's always the comparable sale that you're adding or subtracting from, right? You can't add or subtract from the subject. So remember CBS, CIA. Have a great day. Remember Tony Mesa, realestateschool.com. Uh, thanks. Bye.